Hi, I'm Chris Cardone from the Flair Bartenders Association, and I'm going to teach you one of the most coveted and exciting moves known as the bump. Um, Flair bartenders use it all the time. Customers absolutely love it. People go crazy over it, and it's it's actually uh, kind of a sort of a middle middle advanced move. It's not the hardest move. It's also not the easiest move. And there's a few parts to know about it. So the first thing is to know where to bump it. So you're going to use the kind of the meaty part of your elbow. The last thing you want to do is hit the bone. It hurts like you wouldn't believe. So when the bottle's coming over, you want to kind of bend your elbow a little bit and kind of add some of that meat on the muscle of it so that it hits, it doesn't hurt. If you hear bone hitting, you'll know it hits really fast and you're going to feel it. So you want to just practice knowing exactly where you're going to hit it so it doesn't hurt. The next part you have to master is throwing it over your shoulder. So you're going to actually take your bottle and you're going to release it over your shoulder so that it's coming around to hit your elbow. When you're kind of doing it, what you're going to do is you're going to release it over your shoulder, the bottle's going to come over, you're going to bump it with your elbow, kind of pushing the bottle back over, and then it releases around. And you can either pour it, you can catch it, you can stall it, you can do all sorts of different ideas with it. But it looks like this. So that's how you do a bump. You just bump it off your arm and you let it fall into your hand. So again, just to show it slowly, you bring your bottle up, you release it, you bump it, and you catch it. And then you can do a bump to a stall, a bump to a pour, however you want to finish the move. But the, get, again, the whole point is to make sure it hits that meaty part of your arm and you, don't want to, you want to give it a little bounce so that the bottle kind of spins off the bump. And that is how you do a bump.